I'm Tom Freiberg from WWI Magazine and we're here at EFAT in Munich, Germany. I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Takaki Yamamoto, who is the CEO of Amcom. Takaki, thanks for joining me here today and good to see you. Thank you very much. So uh, for viewers who might not be fully aware, give us a, a brief kind of overview and, and rundown of, of the organization, please. Well, yes. Um, Amcom is a Japanese company who has been in wastewater treatment business for 40 years. And um, in the first 20 years, we were mainly um, providing the operation services for the wastewater treatment plants. But then um, the sludge treatment was one of the most difficult part of the process of the wastewater treatment. And um, we were looking for best available technology on the market. But then um, we couldn't find best one. Then we came up with um, our own development. And that's how we um, turned ourselves into um, manufacturing manufacturers. And then that's what we now produce sludge uh, dewatering press that's called Boryut. And uh, so that, that history is actually showing that um, our product is invented by a user, an operator. So I can say that it's a really um, user-oriented design product. And um, we are now trying to expand in European markets. Uh, three years ago, we started a local production of our products in Czech Republic for the whole European market. And uh, yeah, I see the demand is uh, growing more and more for the small scale uh, wastewater treatment plants. And that's what we are here for. Perfect. This year again. Well, uh, we wish you the best of luck here at EFAT. We're now going to go over to one of your colleagues who's going to give some more particular technical details of some mm -hmm. of your, your offerings. So mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you very much, Tom. Cheers. Uh, I'm now here with Richard Bigri from uh, Amcon Europe, who's going to demonstrate what the company claim is the world's smallest dewatering press. So, uh, Richard, over to you. Thanks, Tom. Uh, yeah, we believe this is the world's smallest dewatering press. Uh, it's effective for up to 500 people. I'll give you a quick tour through the machine now. We have a sludge inlet tank here. The sludge flows in and then overflows into the flocculation tank. At this point, we inject a polymer uh, and agitate to create liquid solid separation. Again, as the tank fills up, the sludge will come down and into the, the screw where the separation happens. So we have alternate fixed and moving rings and a slow rotating screw. The first section is for thickening. No pressure is applied, allows the filtrate to drop away and thickens the sludge up. Then as it comes up into the top, we apply pressure to the sludge to squeeze and actually create the cake. Coming up to the, the back end of it, the sludge will come through and drop down the cake chute. There is a final piece inside of here it's called the end plate, which is just adjusted to just get the final amount of pressure and deliver the customer exactly what they need. And in terms of applications, you mentioned earlier during a quick conversation, there was a sort of small community in Siberia, mm -hmm. Arctic conditions. Maybe yep. give us a bit more on that. Okay, well, the machine was actually designed specifically for Siberia. Because they get locked out in the winter with the, uh, with the weather up there, they need to be able to reduce the, the wastewater and have storage facilities. So by having a machine that can deal with small villages, then what they're actually able to do is uh, save a lot of money, save a lot of space, uh, no need for storage, and actually the machine repays itself, we um, confidently say within two to three years of investment. Perfect, so let's take a look at what else you've got on the, the booth. Okay, great. Okay, so we've seen the kind of the small end of the scale, and now we're looking at a dewatering press for about seven to 10,000 people. Yeah. So Richard, give us a sure. quick run through. Okay, great. Um, this is for a medium-sized plant. Again, the process follows the same as the, with the small plant. We have a, a sludge inlet tank. It comes in, it overflows, goes into the uh, flocculation tank where the polymer is injected. And from there, again, it overflows down into the, the screws. The first section is about uh, thickening. Uh, the slow rotating screw just allows the filtrate to roll out and thickens the sludge up. And then as we move up into the second section, we have the dewatering zone. The dewatering zone is where the power uh, and the pressure is applied to the screw. And from that, uh, at the back end, we have the uh, end plate. There is one fundamental difference on this machine to, to the small machine that I demonstrated earlier. The pitch of the screw changes in here so we can apply much more pressure. 
And in terms of the scale up above this, do you have any bigger systems? Yeah, we've, actually we've got several more machines. So this is what we would class as a 200 series, um, which is basically a 200 diameter screw. So we actually have a 300 and then we go up to a 350. 350 diameter screw. Now, in terms of that, on our largest machine, we're capable of dewatering for 100,000 population equivalent and scaled in between. So we go from 500 up to 100,000. Excellent, so something for everyone, really. Uh, pr pretty much, yeah. Um, we don't just operate in the municipal industry, uh, municipal market, though. We're also in industry in a very big way. So we work across uh, virtually every type of industry that's going. So um, we can reference the largest slaughterhouse in Europe uh, as having our technology in there, and that runs our medium-sized machine. We can reference uh, in the Ukraine um, a poultry factory that processes 50,000 chickens an hour, and that has one of our largest machines in there. So obviously Europe is a key market for you. Tom, yes it is. and. Um, since we opened uh, the European subsidiary just a little over three years ago, obviously we started naked. We had no, no real uh, sales team behind us. We're, we're now a team of 16 people in Europe and uh, effectively quarter on quarter we're growing at a very, very fast rate. So where the um, technology was dependent on, on other styles of dewatering, now the screw press the volute screw press is becoming very, very dependent upon and we're becoming the go-to company for European marketplace. And now you're fully clothed, you could Indeed. say, right? Indeed, yes, we are fully okay. clothed. <laughs> All right, Richard, well, uh, thanks for time. We wish you the best of luck for yep. the, the rest of the week here at EFAP. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Thank you Tom. Bye-bye.